We're going to show you guys how to re-gear and rebuild your 9 and a quarter rear differential. So we are going to be re-gearing our rear diff to 392 gears. We will be re-gearing the front diff too. As you guys know, it's a 4x4 twin turbo drag truck. But in today's video, we're just going to show you how to do the rear. Uh, JT is holding our welded diff that we welded in a couple videos ago. Oh yeah. That's still holding that together great. Look at them beautiful welds. So what we're going to do is actually just switch out the ring and pinion on this guy and change out the side bearings and the pinion bearings and crush sleeve and everything else. So we already got our differential out, our axle shafts out, and our actual bearing races out of the differential. Ooh! Ta-da! Oh, 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 oh. That's okay. That's getting replaced anyway. Quitter. Now it is clean and ready to go back together. So we got a 392 gear set right here and our rebuild kit. So the rebuild kit consists of a front cover gasket. We have a front pinion bearing, a rear pinion bearing, and then we have side bearings, a front pinion seal, new bolts, gear marking compound, and a shim kit. So you will need to make a dummy bearing for your pinion. Time to get our pinion bearing off. This is pressed on, so you will need a press to take it off. Um, there's actually a shim underneath here, right there. And that sets our pinion depth. We will need to adjust that since we're going to a different gear ratio. We're changing out the ring of pinion, or if we're changing out the carrier or anything like that, you gotta actually change the shimmage of it. So that's why we have the dummy bearing over there to set on this, put it in there, and actually check our pinion depth. So to get this off, we're gonna need to use the same tool we used for the, the differential bearings. Because even though we're not using this pinion and we're not using this bearing, we still need to get that shim out of there because we need to use that as a starting point for our shimmage. Set her on the press like that. Ta-da! Just like that, we got our shim. That's stuck with cure lube on there. But this is our starting point for our shimmage of our new one. So this is the only thing we wanted. Uh, we could make this into a dummy bearing and the way we're going to be making, well, the other ones into a dummy bearing is we're actually going to be grinding out the center of these. So they just slide onto the pinion and that is just for test fitting purposes only to figure out the shimmage before we press it on because once we press it on, it's permanently on. There's, you can take them off but you're risking damaging them. So that's why we make dummy bearings to test fit everything. And we have an actual dummy bearing right here. All we did was grind out the center. So it fits over the pinion, slips on and off the pinion gear nice and easy because we are going to probably have to change the shim to figure out pinion depth on this rear diff. We have adjusters on the side here to set backlash and differential side bearing preload so we don't have to shim the actual side bearings of the differential because we will adjust that with our special tool. We're going to start installing the pinion bearing races actually into the differential and the way we're going to do that is with an air hammer. So to get the ring gear off, we have to take off all the uh, left-handed thread bolts. So after you get all the bolts out, you're going to want to put two of them back in, maybe uh, thread them in about halfway, and then get your socket on there and start hammering away. Hit it like a man! Okay, I'll hit it like a man. Look at what happens when you hit it like a man! Go in. Wow! And just like that, you got your ring gear. So we got the side bearings on the differential we need to remove. Easiest, fastest way is to whizzy wheel them off and then air hammer them. So we'll show you how to do that. We 
got the actual cage with all the bearings off of it, so now the race itself, we're gonna have to use the whizzy wheel, we're gonna cut it at an angle, and then use an air hammer to punch it off. Just like that, we got one side bearing off. Uh, we gotta cut the other side off and then we'll show you how to press them on. Uh, you can see there's no shims behind here because again, we have those adjustable pieces in the differential to set that backlash and bearing preload. Unlike the Dana 44 on the front, which is shimmage, so we had to actually build dummy bearings for the side. You don't gotta do that on the nine accord. You can just press your new bearings on. Another thing too, it doesn't have a carrier brake, so you can put any size uh, ring and pinion in the back up to a 488 fits. So anywhere between a 488 and like a two something. You can put in the rear diff of a nine and a quarter. On the Dana 44, there's a break at 373. So you need a 373 and down carrier for those low, for those higher gears. And you need a 373 and up carrier for those lower gears. All right, so now that we're over by the press, we're gonna be pressing the new side bearings on. Uh, the old race works great as an actual pressing guide for the new bearings. So we'll get our new bearing set up there. We'll get our old race on top of that. And then we'll get something to go across the two like this pry bar. Just like that, we're bottomed out. There's one new bearing, flip it around, get the other side quickly. Just like that, we're all the way down. Yeah, so keep your old bearing races. They work really good as uh, bearing presses after the fact. So now we're gonna get the ring gear on this and then we're gonna get it installed at a diff to check the actual pinion depth. So the ring to pinion meshing. Bearings installed, ring gears installed. So we're gonna check pinion depth. So we gotta actually install this guy into the diff. So, to set that backlash and uh, side bearing preload, we got the special tool right here that we're going to be using to set it. So, this is the actual ring gear side. We're going to set our torque wrench to 75 foot pounds. And this is the ring gear side, so we are going to go until we feel some resistance. Back it off like a third of a turn. Then we'll go to the other side. So we got our side bearing adjusters torque to spec and we have our main caps torque to spec. So now we're gonna actually check pinion depth 
with our marking compound that we have right here. So we're gonna wipe these on all the teeth. That should be. Making sure we have some good coverage on a good amount of teeth here. And what this is gonna do is our pinging gear is literally gonna leave marks on our ring gear to tell us the actual depth of it and tell us if we need to actually make the pinion deeper so this way or if we need to make it more shallow so we're going to spin the ring gear over maybe oh you're going that way all right i can't see you so i gotta keep going because i'll help you load it when we get to that point oh these welded spider gears work good beautiful all right, we're right there. So let's go back and forth with it. Spin it over, let's take a look. So me and JT right there, we're loading it to actually make a good marking on it. Ooh, and if that back looks good, we are perfect. So, really? yeah, we are perfect wow, first try. That. Beautiful. So this is the stock shim in the nine and a quarter uh, off of it with the 355 gear set. And we are perfect. You, can, you see how the wear patterns Perfect on the top of the tooth, and if you look on the bottom of the tooth, we are right in the center as well. So that is perfect. So now, we can take the diff out, get our pinion gear out, press our new bearing on, get our dummy bearing off, and then crush sleeve on there and set that for good pinion preload. So we're gonna get this all apart, and we'll show you pressing the pinion bearing on. We got our new pinion gear set up here. Uh, we have that old race that we we're using to press the side bearings on. We have our stock shim in there that was perfect, and we're gonna start pressing this guy on all the way. Just like that, we are all the way pressed down. That will indicate the side bearings on the differential. Just like that, we got a new bearing on. So yeah, make sure you keep your old races because they work really good to press stuff on. Lastly right here, this is actually like a spring that keeps tension on the pinion bearings. So we gotta make sure that's on before we shove our pinion in. And JT's gonna lube me up. Oh yeah. Lube me up, boy. All right, my favorite part. We're just gonna give her a little drink before we stab her in here. One thing you do not want to do is crush the sleeve too far if you don't have a second one. You have been warned. Thanks, JT. <laughs> so we're good right there on our pinion turning torque. Uh, we probably get this eight pound beam torque wrench right here, which we're gonna check the pinion turning torque, which shows us our actual preload on the bearing. And as you can see right now, we're at like 26, 27 inch pounds of turning torque which is perfect. You probably want between that 10 to 40 inch pounds of turning torque on the bearings, which we're good right now. So now we can get our diffs finally installed, set our backlash in our bearing preload, put some gear lube in it, put it all back together.